Is traffic congestion a big problem in your hometown? Not at all. We couldn't be happier with the traffic system here. What is your favorite item of clothing? My favorite one is a maxi dress. I wear it when hanging out with my friends or attending parties. When did you buy it? My friend gave it to me as a birthday present when I turned to 21. Where did you buy it? I had no idea where my close friend bought it. What color is it? It's blue, my favorite color. Was it expensive? Yes, I guessed. Why do you like it? Well, I'm kind of short and plump, so it's hard to find a piece of clothing that fits me perfectly. But that one does. I also love the color and style. Do clothes help to build your personal brand? Yes, I agree with it to some extent. I still believe that personal brand can be built from the inside rather than the outside. However, what you wear also plays an important role in saying who you are. Have you seen anybody wearing unusual clothes? Yes, I have, but I don't think any fashion style is weird. I believe everybody has their own taste of fashion. How has your fashion style changed recently? I always wore formal shirt and trousers whenever hanging out years ago, but now I change into casuals like jeans and t-shirt. What is your favorite advertisement? I'm quite impressed with the advertisement about Surf, a laundry detergent made by Unilever. Where did you see it? I accidentally saw it on TV two years ago. What happened in the advertisement? The ad told a story of a family in which the children all loved their stepmother due to the white shirt she prepared for them. Why do you like it? I just can't stop loving the story in the ad. It's such a sweet story. Was there any famous actor or actress in the advertisement? Not at all. The actors were not very well known, I think. Did it attract much attention? I have no idea, but I saw it in many public places. What do you like the most in the advertisement? Well, the vivid images and sound effects did attract me. Do you believe in advertisements? Not really. Ads always say good things and neglect to mention bad things about a product for obvious reasons. How have advertisements changed recently? They're more modern. Digital marketing has proved successful in many fields. What project did you work on? I made an English poster about our environment. Was that an indoor or outdoor project? The project was carried out mostly outdoor. Only the last phase was conducted indoor. Who was involved in the project? My teammates and an advisory teacher. What did you do? We had a field trip to the countryside where we studied insects and plants. Was it a successful project? Yes, we received compliments from our professor. Who was your advisory teacher? Our science teacher, Mr. John. We learned a lot from him. What did you learn after the project? I learned how to write contents and decorate posters. Did you like your partners? Yes, most of them were friendly and responsible, and I particularly liked Michael, the leader of my team. What did you get after the project? After the project, I know how to work in a team and cooperate well with my teammates. Have you ever attended someone's wedding? Who was he or she? Yes, a lot. But the most memorable one is my best friends. Who went with you? I went with one of my classmates. Where was the wedding organized? It was held in a restaurant downtown. What did people do in the wedding? They enjoyed wedding feast, sang, and danced together after giving the couple best wishes of an everlasting happiness. What did the bride and groom wear? The bride wore a white wedding gown, while the groom wore a black suit and tie. What was the most interesting ritual in the wedding? Exchanging rings is the ritual I'm quite interested in. Are weddings a special event of one's life in your country? Yes, along with birthdays. Do people in your country get married early? Not really. The average age to get married for women is 27, and for men is 29. What is the ideal age to get married in your opinion? Well, 27 would be my ideal age. 
Women are most charming and mature at that age, I guess. How have weddings changed recently? The most noticeable change is the reduce of rituals in a wedding. There used to be more steps in weddings years ago than there are now. What's your favorite coffee shop? My favorite one is the coffee house, a local coffee shop in my neighborhood. Where is it? It's 500 meters far from my house. How often do you visit that coffee shop? Every weekend when I hang out with my friends. The coffee house is always our first choice. Who do you go with? I meet my friends there. They love the place too. What drinks does it serve? Many kinds. Coffee, chocolate, cocktail, smoothie, tea, juice of various tastes. My favorite one is hot chocolate. Are the waiters there friendly? Yes, they couldn't be nicer. Do you like the decorations of that coffee shop? Yes, I love it. I fancy the green space they put in each corner of the room. When was the last time you went there? I last went there last Monday. What is special about that coffee shop? The drinks are what make them different. People are just addicted to full-bodied coffee and chocolate there. How do you know about that coffee shop? My cousin recommended it to me, and I did give it a try. Which culture do you belong to? I was born and raised in America, where my culture was shaped. Is that a multicultural society? Yes, it is. My culture is a diverse mix of customs and traditions of various races and ethnicities. How long has your country been practicing those customs? Well, it has a long history, around 10,000 years ago. What custom do you like the most? I like practicing dining etiquette. That's what makes me American whenever I travel to other countries. What are traditional customs of men and women in your country? Cowboy hats and boots are American styles, but nowadays jeans and t-shirt are more preferable. Are you comfortable with the traditions and customs of your culture? Of course, I was born with it. How do people greet each other? Well, it depends on the situation. In an informal communication, people just say hi. Have you ever felt drawn to another land? Yes, I'm interested in Indian culture. I wish I can get there someday to attend a typical Indian wedding. What is the most popular means of transport in your country? Most people in my country travel by car. How do you go to school or work? I prefer bus due to its convenience. I enjoy reading books while sitting on the bus. How often do you take buses? Every day. I went to school by bus two years ago, and the bus is still my best choice. Do people in your country like traveling by bus? Not really. They have their own cars. What are some benefits of traveling by bicycle? It's a good way of doing exercise. We can protect our environment as well. Do you prefer public transport or private transport? Public transport is much cheaper. Do you think buses should replace other means of transport? Sure. In the future, buses should be used widely by commuters. What does the government do to encourage people to use public transport? It's a good idea to make public transport as convenient as private transport. Besides, more campaigns should be launched to raise the awareness of protecting our environment. How has transportation changed recently? There are more cars in a household now than before, which partly leads to traffic jams in some cosmopolitan cities. Who is your favorite politician? She's Hillary Diane Rodden Clinton, an American politician. Where is she from? She comes from the USA. Does she appear on TV? Yes, quite often. She usually shows up on TV in news programs. What is appealing about her? She's a Democratic politician. Is she famous? Yes, she's well known all over the world. Does she have a great influence on people? Yes, I think so. She fights for human rights. She has a very controversial and influential speech that human rights are women's rights and women's rights are human rights. Do you want to be like her? Being a politician has never been my dream, actually. Why do you admire her? She's one of the few women who succeed in politics. What did she do that you can tell others? 
Oh, a lot of things. She cares for people's health. She also tackles the issues of adoption and family safety. What's your favorite means of communication? I prefer talking directly to people. How do you keep in touch with your friends? I'm so busy that I don't often hang out with friends, so I usually get in touch with them using social networks or phone. Do you get in touch with your family by phone? Yes, I do. I live away from my family, so phone would be an ideal means of communication. Do you usually write letters or emails? I used to write letters when the internet hasn't been used widely. Now I prefer emails due to its convenience. What are some advantages of using a mobile phone? That's the easiest means of communication, I think. Mobile phones are portable. Just dial the numbers and you can immediately get connected with anyone you want. Do you like handwriting letters? Yes, I do. I like to keep handwriting letters as keepsakes. Do you use social networks? Yes, the youth can now hardly live without social networks. Do you need communication skills using social networks? Sure, even in social networks. How have social networks changed communication? People prefer talking online rather than directly. Because of the illusion of social networks, people tend to forget necessary skills to communicate with others in real life. Do you have good communication skills in your opinion? Maybe yes. People are quite happy talking to me. Are you studying or working? I left school three years ago. I'm working now. Are you self-employed or working for a company? I'm self-employed. I used to work for a company two years ago. Are you running any business? Yes, I'm running a small business. What does your business sell? I make and sell handmade cosmetics. Do you have any difficulty running that business? Yes, I had some difficulties attracting customers at first, but everything is getting better now. Is that an online or offline business? I sell products online. Easier selling online than offline because I can take full advantage of my social network. When did you start the business? I started running my own business two years ago. What are some advantages of running your own business? I can take some days off whenever I feel tired, and I can make much more money compared to working for a company. Do you have your own computer? Yes, I owned a personal laptop when I was in university. How often do you use the computer? Almost every day. I can't work without a computer. Have you ever joined any computer class? Yes, years ago. I learned about Microsoft Word and Excel. What do you use the computer for? You know, I'm an accountant, so managing business records would be much easier for me using a computer. What are some advantages of using the computer? With a computer connected to the internet, we can shop, pay bills, or do bank transactions online. Listening to music, watching movies are even more convenient. Do you use other high-tech devices besides computers? Yes, apart from a computer, I also use a smartphone. Should children learn how to use the computer? Yes, I think so. Children should be given chances to approach the computer, but under the control of their parents. Do you usually exercise? Yes, I do. Doing exercise is one of my good habits. What sport do you play? Swimming is my favorite. I also play tennis. How often do you exercise? I go jogging almost every day before breakfast. When did you start doing exercise? Just last year, actually. Is there anyone who does exercise with you? I go jogging with my older brother. He's a good company of mine. What benefits can you get from exercising? Well, a lot. Exercise helps reduce fat and build muscles. It also keeps me awake mentally during the whole day. Where do you exercise? At a nearby park. There are some exercise machines for people to use. Why do you exercise? I like moving. For me, life without moving is like a picture without color. Do people in your country do much exercising? I don't think so. They're so busy working that they forget to do exercise. What if people don't do enough exercise? 
Obviously, they'll gain weight fast and become obese. What is your current short-term goal? I'm determined to get a scholarship to study postgraduate abroad. When did you start thinking about this goal? I started thinking about it when I left university. What difficulties do you have in order to achieve it? Spending a lot of time searching it, I haven't found any scholarship that fits my needs. Do you need any help to achieve that goal? I really need spiritual encouragement from my family and friends. Do your parents support you to achieve that goal? Yes, they do. They're always by my side and support me when needed. Do you think it's important to set goals? Sure, we all need to have some goals to drive ourselves towards them. Setting goals is a necessary step to do in order to succeed in doing something. What are the important qualities to achieve goals? Well, you need to be persistent to what you desire to get. Commitment and patience are needed too. What's your favorite work of art? There's a special photograph named the Napalm Girl. When did you see it? I accidentally saw it five years ago when I traveled to Vietnam. Where did you see it? In Museum of Vietnamese History, the photo was solemnly hung in an eye-catching position in the room. Why do you like it? The photo captured a naked nine-year-old girl running away from the napalm attack, which is really touching. What's special about it? Thanks to the photo, the photographer was awarded the Pulitzer Prize for Spot News Photography. Do your friends like it too? Yes, they do. The photo did touch their souls too. Do you want to be an artist? Nope, although I'm quite interested in art. What qualities does a person need to be an artist? An artist needs to be creative and sensitive to things around him, I think. How do children develop their talent for art? Children's talent for art should be recognized and nurtured as early as possible so that they can reach their full potential. Are you a big fan of fashion? Yes, I am. I believe every girl is crazy about fashion. What style do you choose to wear? Well, my favorite piece of clothes is a dress. Depending on the situation, I choose a formal or informal dress to wear. Do you enjoy shopping for clothes? Yes, I'm a shopaholic, actually. Is there any fashion icon who you want to wear the same? Yes, I admire Taylor Swift and wish to wear like her. Do you create your own fashion style? No, I'm not a fashionista, so most of the time I just follow the fashion trend. Do you prefer vintage or modern style? Why? Honestly, I love vintage style. Wearing classic clothes makes me feel like I'm special. Have you ever attended a fashion show? Not in real life. I just watch them on TV. What do people think about your fashion style? I don't know exactly, and I don't care much about it. I just wear what makes me comfortable and confident. Are you going to change your fashion style in the future? Well, I can't tell. Maybe fashion is changeable, and I am too. Is fashion important to people? Yes, in my opinion. Fashion can partly reveal who you are. What's your favorite item of jewelry? Well, I have quite a lot of ornaments, but my favorite one is a necklace. When did you buy it? Um, I don't remember exactly when, but I guess I bought it years ago. What's it made of? It's made of silver. How does it look? It looks gorgeous with a ruby clover-shaped pendant. Why do you like it? I believe it can bring me good luck in everything I do.